Moin Leute, wieder kam. David. Hey. What? What are we doing now? Painting stuff. What kind of stuff? Just stuff. What are we in? A paint booth. A paint booth. Woo! So I've uh, I've never actually officially painted something in a paint booth, other than watching like Brandon spray my Supra in the the primer of the paint booth. So this is my buddy's booth. He's down the street from me. Uh, Brandon potentially might, his shop might be too busy and I might not be able to squeeze it in there. And uh, this is another one of my buddies has a paint booth. And so I might be painting the super in here. Um, he told me if I wanted to, I could go ahead and do kind of a little test. You know, if I had like a fender or a bumper or a hood or something like that, I needed to do. He's like, yeah, you can come over, test it out, see what you think. Um, so yeah. It just rained today, so I don't think we'll have too much issues with dust and stuff. I'm not sure if we'll even throw the, the booth filters in. But uh, these are the parts for David's Nissan Juke. So basically what happened is... Uh, what, what happened? Stuff. Stuff what happened. Stuff happened. Hey, and it, off? it needs some front end things um, off? fixed. What? That thing? I don't know. It don't really matter to me. Well, I mean, you could pull it off. Um, but anyhow, we're going to be painting this front uh, Juke bumper and a Juke hood. They're brand new, so the only thing we really need to do is just give them a quick scuff with a scuff pad and some like little scuff slurry solution. I brought my little shop kit from my shop, um, you know, paint gun cleaner, paint gun, all that stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm super stoked to actually be trying to spray something in a booth. Hopefully it'll turn out really clean. And uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll be spraying the Super in here. and. Shortly, a week, two weeks, three weeks, a month, a year, I don't know. Eventually we will. Alright, so we threw the booth filters in here and closed the door so that no bugs kind of start wandering in here. But uh, a few little things on the edges we're kind of hitting with some 400 grit just to get rid of the, the little stuff. And then we're going to hit it with the, the gray Scotch Bright scuff pads. guys so we are just getting ready to spray uh, wiped all this stuff down with the the MX 190 which is a pretty decent uh, cleaner and uh, yeah it'll kind of get all of our you know grimy handprints and stuff off of it and just make sure that we don't have any like contaminants or whatever sitting on top or and give us some solvent bubble but yeah it's got a couple of mosquitoes and stuff in here got all these little brackets and pieces kind of hung up but uh, yeah I think we're ready to spray I'm pretty excited like I said, never sprayed in a, a spray booth before. Um, I swept it out, blew it out with the blow gun, washed it out, and then squeegeed it out, blew out all the air filters and everything. I'm not sure when the last time it was that he painted stuff in here. Um, I don't think he's used it for a little while, at least a couple weeks. Um, so yeah, I definitely got a lot of little dirt and dust out of here, so I'm excited to, uh, I'm excited to spray. I need some more. Okay. Got done with the first coat, uh, or not the first coat, like the three coats of base coat. Uh, looks a little kind of dry on there now. Um, it's really kind of hard to tell what exactly this paint is doing. I kind of feel like I'm spraying it kind of slow. Like maybe I just need to like turn up my paint gun, turn up like the fan bigger, turn up the pressure, turn up the, the flow of everything. 
I'm kind of scared to do that because then I feel like it, it could kind of get out of control on you. But uh, yeah, so we got three good coats on pretty much everything. And uh, so yeah, we've let it sit for it's like 10, 15 minutes, cleaning the gun, getting everything ready to go. So now it's time to mix up some clear and uh, spray that and get out of here. too bad. A few uh, bugs and little dusty looking things in it like you can see like it's mostly bugs. Right there, little bug deal. Over here there's a couple in there. But I mean the, the clear's laying down alright. It's just bugs and random things that have found their way in here. Um, I think that's one of the things he was saying is he's like well it's not like super super clean anyhow like it's not like a super clean booth um you know which and, and i don't really know exactly how you you really do that because i mean it these the fan just sucks such a high volume of air like if i turned on the the fan right now watch like Look at that, look at that bug stuck in there. It just got stuck in there? Yeah, another bug. Little mosquito. Got a little bit of dirt stuff. Where are them bugs? No, those are, the big ones are bugs. That's shitty. Yeah. I mean, if it wasn't for the damn bugs and the dust, I mean, this stuff looks, it almost looks like I know how to paint. I mean, it's mostly the clear. Oh, it's only, Aww. oh, my hair. Put my hair in that. That's fine. See, I told you I didn't want to. I didn't want you to put that in the in the spot. The but uh, all right, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm uh, pretty stoked that I was able to actually use this thing, kind of test it out, and see what I thought of it. Um, I think if I do end up spraying the super in here, I think David he he has the hookup on paint stuff. Um, he knows somebody who works in paint store, and we you know he he gets I don't know. Dave knows people sometimes. Um, anyhow, if you do do the Supra, I'm gonna probably just buy him some paint filters and uh, get new paint filters on there, make sure it's 100% sealed. And I think it would turn out pretty good in here. So the other thing is, is on the last round or whatever, uh, final clear coat or whatever, we kind of bumped the, the fan, just turning it off and on. So we didn't let it like constantly run the whole time. So kind of let me spray a little bit, like half of the hood, you know, bump it on, get some of the overspray out, spray the rest of it, bump it on again, just so there's not so much air, just constantly just being pulled through this thing. So I think that's kind of the, the main reason, you know, you, you end up getting dirt and stuff in it. Back here doesn't really matter because the, the air gets sucked up through here. But uh, yeah, again, thank you guys for watching. Um, 
I don't know, maybe we'll, we'll make a video and see how, how good this paint actually matches. So this is Sherwin-Williams paint. Um, I'm, I'm used to spraying like Omni and PPG stuff, but uh, the clear, I mean, I painted Dave's tailgate on his truck and I mean, it, it laid out just beautiful. But I mean, if, I, if we could just get the little dirt and dust out of it, I mean, that would be, that'd be tight. But again, thank you guys for watching and uh, be sure to go to motionartv.com and uh, Get yourself some, uh, some Motion on TV merch and get yourself entered for the S14 giveaway. So we should be working on that sometime next week, shortly, maybe tomorrow, maybe next video. I don't know. See you later. But let me see you work this beautiful mind. If it's right, the stars align. Nothing can keep you from feeling